Our bench was terrific, and led by Mitch, I thought uh, Bogey gave us really good minutes, and Deuce did as well. So those, those three guys gave us a big lift. You know, we had to dig out of the hole to start the game. Uh, then the rebounding was big, and uh, we had to withstand. You know, we started slowly, and then we started the third quarter slowly, but we found a way to win. With, with Deuce, just, just how much of a, of a burst of life did he give you guys there? early in the first half when you checked in. Huge. I think, you know, it's not just the shot making, but it's the energy, it's the defense, it's the hustle, and that goes a long way. Josh, struggling offensive next one night, three threes, 13 points in the fourth quarter, defending. Yeah, I don't want to overlook his contribution because he's he was uh, he was a monster throughout. You know, he, big rebounds, tough defense, hustle plays, big shots at the end. Coming up with loose balls, and that's that's what this is. This is, you know, you got to show toughness. Coach, it, it was an anomaly. All the starters were plus minus negative, three bench plays plus twenty uh, or more. Can you just talk about just the balance that they provided to you? Yeah, yeah, and we started the game slowly, and I thought it changed when the energy of the bench came in, and so, and you, we need everyone. So tonight it was the bench. You got to win games different ways. The rebounding was huge for us. Uh, we made some threes that I think that timely ones, particularly late, and, and that was big as well. Um, but we, you know, obviously there's a lot of things to clean up too. Can you explain the slow start? Uh, Embiid got going on us pretty good. So, and look, some of them were defended well. Some of them we got to do a better job. Uh, but you know, it's a 48 minute game, so that's the way you have to look at it. Is a guy can make a tough shot or make a shot, and then you got to keep going. You have to have staying power. So I thought, you know, we got some hustle into the game. I thought OG made some really uh, dynamic hustle type plays that got us into the open floor. And I think once we got some easy baskets, that triggered a lot of things for us. Coach, you, you gave the challenge with 821 left in the fourth, and only left you with one timeout. What was the thought there in terms of? Yeah, it's tight right there. Yeah, you you know you want to you know you'd like to have two, but just where we, the way the flow of the game was and where we were, it felt like we needed to do that. McBride has never, I mean, he played sparingly last year in the playoffs, but he's not really come in the playoffs with this large of a role. Does it cross your mind going into it, like you just wonder if he's going to be? Ready no, to not season? really. Just because, like. It's, you know, if you're looking at it from the outside, you don't see, like, the work that he does every day. And then every time he's gotten an opportunity, he's responded well. And so, uh, you know, and there's things that he does that you know will translate. The defense is always going to be there. The hustle is always going to be there. And his shooting, he's, he's done an incredible amount of work on his shooting, and it shows. And so credit to him. He's worked extremely hard, and, you know, he's – He's got great versatility because he can guard multiple positions. Well, with Bogey, obviously before the Pistons stretch that he had, he, he played some significant minutes with, with the Jazz or on a playoff bout team. Does, does that factor into your mind? His, his well, I think experience is important. You know, like you learn from that. As, you know, trial and error is a big part of it. Like you, It's a great question about Deuce. Like he's going through it, so each, each experience that he's had is – Pushed them further down the road, and I think even with your veteran players, the more games they play in, the more they can draw upon that from past experience. But also knowing that each season's different, each game is different, and we we know we have to do a lot better in the next game. Mitch, how much, seems how, to, how much do you stress offensive rebounding when you're talking to your team, and how much is it just the makeup of of your roster that probably yeah. What they do? And it's, it's a great question, probably both, you know, like in the sense that we prioritize that in, in what we look at. And then we feel like rebounding, you know, when we lost Julius, we, that was one of the things. And we did it even when we had Julius. We always say defend, rebound, low turnover. Those three things will put you in position to win. So the nights in which we're not shooting well, we feel like that's an opportunity to get us, you know, give us a chance. And also understanding the value of shots. So we always say the, the layups, the free throws, and the open threes. And so yeah, oftentimes we're getting to the to the bonus early because we're getting fouled on it, right? And then the kickout's giving us the three. And then sometimes it's a kickout, swing, swing, and the drive that gets us to the free throw line. And I think our team has a good understanding of that. Is the Mitch performance especially um, encouraging considering yeah. he was able to sustain it? Yeah, I, and I said this earlier. Like, so the whole – 
like month of April, we looked at his like, okay, this is he's got to work his way back. Obviously, when you're out as long as he's been, uh, and, and he's he's done a great job putting the work into it. In each game, you can see his timings coming around. Those are two big free throws he hit late, but the, also to be able to battle and you know be physical and you know move his feet and just anchor the defense, the block shots, the offensive rebounding, it's huge. You mentioned Maxi speed pregame. Yeah, he's like a blur out there. What yeah, can you do? yeah. Is there anything you can do? Yeah, yeah it, it, you know, really, in many ways, he's an offense unto himself. So we got to do, we got to take care of that with our team, um, and you know, and it's not just him. It's you know, it's. You're dealing with Embiid as well, and Ubre and Harris, and you know Lowry, and then Hill comes in, and Batum. And so it's a it's a it's a deep and talented team. You, you, mentioned, you mentioned Embiid's start. Um, what did you think when you saw the injury, and also what what kind of player I guess you saw him in the second half? Different. Yeah, just you know, and the, and the thing is, it's like, look, you can't win an MVP without being a great player. So he's, you know, we know how good he is, and you know, when he goes down, you, you know, you, you always, you know, you thinking the guy's coming back. You don't think he's staying out. So, and, you know, we, that's what we anticipated.